welcome to this video. I hope everybody is well today. I'm going to be talking about a book that I've been reading, which is called Fern Cotton's Happy. And inside it, I've got to a chapter where it talks about the positive and negative thinking thermometer, the emotion thermometer, which you can see here in the book. As you can see, there's a diagram where you can do your own one. So today, I'm going to be talking about this thermometer here and the answers that I've written down from her one, which is here, already filled out for you with her positive and negative thoughts. So I've drawn my own one out and written my own one up. So for people on the autistic spectrum, it'll be quite a good idea of how to explain how we feel. So as you can see, I've written my own script about it and I've written all my own answers out. I'm sorry for the scruffy diagram, but yeah, this is what I've written for my own self. Sorry, I didn't just get comfortable a little bit. I apologise about my hair. It's not in the best frame today. Um, Yeah, so I hope everybody is well. So yeah, people with autism often struggle to find their own emotions and they often struggle to tell people when we're feeling good or when we're feeling sad. It can be really frustrating to label a certain emotion or a certain feeling. So by drawing this diagram, I've been able to label my own emotions, what makes me happy on one side and then what makes me sad on the other. So you've got happy at the top and then sad at the bottom, sad at the bottom, happy at the top. So yeah, I just thought I would talk about this today. And yeah, so basically it's, as you can see on one side, you have happy and content, full of joy and energy feeling calm and the other things like that so you can see that and basically one side you've got happy and content full of joy and energy feeling calm and peaceful neutral and observant low energy sad and down depressed and basically what makes me happy is being with my best friend and my family doing my youtube videos being online writing my poetry watching asmr videos um, when I'm being observant, I'm listening to my friends who support me, listening to my music. When I'm down, I shut down. I have an emotional shutdown. My communication gets switched off. I don't tidy up. I don't film YouTube videos. I voice in family. I completely shut down altogether to the fact that I cut all socialisation off. I shut off all my limits. I shut off all my contact abilities. As somebody on the autistic spectrum, this can be quite difficult for us. So... Yeah, this can be a really good, useful visual tool if you want to do this with a child or an autistic adult. Like, if you want to label their emotions, this might be a good thing for them to draw. And again, I'll show you the diagram in case you want to have a look. This is the book, the diagram that you want to draw there. And this is the example of the filled out one here. And it's in the book Fern Cotton's Happy, which I absolutely adore reading. It's a really, really good book. I find it really, really useful right now. So, yeah. On the back, I've put, reading this book, I have realised that it's important to have time for me and realised that having a balance is important to keep myself centred. You could also use this as a behaviour rating or a treat rating for good behaviour. And I feel this could be a good visual stimul aid for parents, professionals to use when working with people with autism or associated disabilities. This could also be used as a jobs rating to get local to get household jobs done in the house um, and to rate the emotions each day to where they are at a certain time at a certain place help to discuss situations which need to be resolved uh, this can be used as a daily visual on the cupboards on the fridge in the bedroom anything like that to help successful communication please let me know what you thought about this please give it a thumbs up please subscribe please comment and please share bye guys